Good afternoon, and uh, welcome to Podcasting 101, Part 1. Um, my name is my name is Trey Gwynn. Uh, let me move my little, my little video, my little webcam. I'm just going to make myself tiny in there. There we go. Um, I'm the Technology and Outreach Coordinator for the Rutherford County Library System. I, I don't currently have an active podcast, but I have created, developed, produced, and co-hosted three podcasts, two personal and one professional. Um, I'm also an avid podcast listener with over 144 days of content listened to, uh, and I know that that doesn't make me an expert in the same way that like watching a bunch of television doesn't make you an expert. Uh, I just think it's fun to keep track of that kind of thing. Um, this was, uh, uh, the purpose of this class is to help you develop, produce, and distribute a podcast over three one-hour sessions. Uh, if you have an idea for a podcast, this class, uh, is intended to help you turn it from an idea into reality. And if you don't have an idea, that's fine. Uh, we will, uh, we'll go through all the steps on how to go from, having an idea to getting it onto the airwaves. Um, uh, as an aside, though, I can say that I can help you create your podcast, but the one thing that I cannot do is make your podcast popular. Uh, if I could do that, I would be a popular podcaster. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you figure it out, you can uh, share the secret with me. Um, now, very few mediums have democratized content creation as much as podcasting. Uh, whole multi-million dollar corporations have gotten into the podcasting game, and yet it's still a, a field where a solitary person with a microphone can create, can create something that people all over the world will listen to. Um, as I said a moment ago, this class is a three-part class uh three-part class hold on one second there we go perfect uh three-part class the first um the first of the three classes the one that we're doing today will focus on development uh then part two which is coming up next month will be uh production and then in november we will do distribution um now uh when you saw podcasting 101 you probably your brain probably jumped straight to production and we will talk about that uh next month but but what i've learned over the over the years whenever i mess with podcasting is that um the more forethought that you put into your podcast the 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 more you will be able to execute your uh execute your idea for what you, what you want um uh, how you know how do we take that spark of an idea and 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 blow blow oxygen onto it so that it becomes a raging fire right and becomes that podcast um you know, and, and so what we're going to talk about today is all the thinking that you need to put into it before you ever put audio to tape. Um, uh, you know, the, in, in my experience, uh, the, the one podcast that I had uh, the most uh, control over was a podcast called uh, Debate Club. And nobody's ever listened to it. It doesn't matter. But but I had this idea for a podcast where we would, where where people would actually like, debate and have disagreements about nerdy pop culture things right and I asked some friends to get involved with it and because I didn't have a strong vision of what it was going to be uh, it never was quite what I wanted it to be um, to that end I've created a worksheet for you to fill out to help you clarify what it is you're interested in pursuing uh, once you've filled out the worksheet you will have a rough sketch of the kind of podcast you want to do um, now because this is a digital uh, a virtual class you can find that um, you can find that uh, uh, worksheet in the description of this YouTube video um, hold on one second I can even show you I can even show it to you copy <coughs> excuse me I've got a bit of a cold let me pause that so here this link right here is the 
is the worksheet that I'm talking about. So I, as I refer to a worksheet, that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about. So uh, so if you want, go ahead and click on that. It will be available for you after the class if you'd rather do it then. But we're going to go through it step by step as part of this uh, as part of this podcast uh, as part of this class. The first, the first thing that you need to do, and in fact, I'm just going to hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to get rid of my little webcam. Boop. There we go. Now we've got the whole screen to play with. Um, the first thing that you need to do is uh, find a topic. Now, there are podcasts about literally everything. So that means that any topic that you want to do is on the table, and that, that's great. That's wonderful. But it means that you're, you're going to have competition no matter what you choose. Uh, if you can find that magic you know, subject where there's literally no podcasts, I would be, uh, you know, jump on it. But, like, it, seem, it is very unlikely to me at this point. Um, there's podcasts about knitting. There's podcasts about sneakers. There's podcasts about men's jewelry. There's podcasts about uh, every video game that's ever been made, even if it was only 35, you know, even if it was 35 years ago that it came out. Um, so, um, so finding your topic, uh, is important, uh, but you have to recognize that you will probably not be the only voice in that, in that field. Um, now, uh, to that end, the next step that you need to do is find your niche. Uh, what podcasts already exist that focus on your topic? Uh, what can you bring to the topic that exi- other existing podcasts don't? Is your voice somehow unique in the in the subject matter that you that you want to do? Um, the you know the this is going to require a little bit of research, but it's better than going in blind to to a uh, to a uh, crowded market, right? Um, uh, so like so like two of my three podcasts that I've made were several, some number of dudes sit around talking about nerdy topics and uh, the internet is rife with podcasts that are some number of dudes sit around talking about nerdy topics. We weren't bringing anything new to the, to the, to the, to the conversation, we weren't bringing voices that were new to the conversation, and we weren't tackling it from a like a, a, a format that was different. So, so maybe if we had come up with um, maybe if we'd come up with uh, some sort of different take on some number of dudes talking about nerdy stuff, it would have worked out just fine. But we 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 didn't. Um, and, and that's one of my biggest takeaways is you, you have to go in, you have to figure out what your, you know, what your niche is, what your hook is. Um, are you, are you, uh, you know, are you the normal demographic for something or are you the abnormal demographic for something? Like, could I, could, you know, could, uh, you know, could a bunch of, uh, bikers with with big long beards do a podcast about knitting that could be a really interesting hook right when there's already like knitting podcasts right um or you know um uh what about a podcast starring a bunch of octogenarians talking about their favorite video games again like like i know i'm kind of exaggerating and making like straw men jokes out of this but but i'm just saying that like that like yeah, you may choose a topic that has um, that has people in it already, has has podcasts in it already, but that doesn't mean that it's off limits to you. You just need to find how to make yourself stand out amongst um, what is an already crowded market, likely. Now, once you've figured out your topic and your your niche, you need to figure out kind of you need to spend some time thinking about your format. Uh, now the there are podcasts that do things in every single way, right? Um, uh, if 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 the recorded medium has done has been done in a way, there's a podcast that does it that way. That's a really awkward way to say it, but but what I'm saying is that like like podcasters are trying everything that recorded medium has ever done, um, and 
in and I in a very reductive way have have broken down all the podcasts all the podcasts that I know of into six uh, categories and they are panel discussions some group of people sitting around talking about a topic news uh, which is pretty straightforward uh, interview live where it's like one-on-one one-on-one or one on multiple or you know multiple on multiple but interviewing and it's just here is the the tape of I sat down to interview someone it's not very heavily edited this is this is the interview from beginning to end interview edited uh, which is you know normally you know those are so similar that normally I wouldn't break them out except for that they are that those are some of the most that interview what I what I call interview edited are some of the most popular podcasts out there. So like think of like um, uh, 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 serial, you know, like these are interviews with multiple people, but they're chopped up and they're moved around and they they uh, they're used to create a narrative instead of just like here is an interview from beginning to end. Um, you know, and there's usually a narrative voice in the interview edited podcasts. Um, and so, like I said, normally, like if we were talking about television, maybe I wouldn't split those two out and say they were different, except for that, uh, these are some of the most dominant podcasts on the internet. So like, um, uh, so like Serial, This American Life, uh, Radiolab, uh, the one that I have up there, 99% Invisible, you know, these are podcasts that are on different subjects, but they are, at their core, interview shows, but then they use those interviews to create uh, a narrative that is that is more intricate than just, I'm sitting down with someone and going from point A to point B in an interview. Uh, then there are scripted podcasts, and then I just have everything else in, in an other category. Um, uh, scripted podcasts, of course, are like your um, your uh, you know radio radio dramas um, or similar, um, and there's a whole bunch of those. Maybe the most popular is the one that I have there on the screen. Welcome to Night Vale, which is kind of a I don't know like like Twin Peaks meets boy I don't even know Twin Peaks meets uh, X Files. But even weirder than that, um, Twin. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Twin Peaks meets, um, uh, uh, like the humor of like Terry Pratchett or Douglas Adams. Um, uh, it's just it's it's really interesting. Super weird. And then I, the other category is just literally everything. Like the one that I have, uh, the Adventure Zone, uh, which is what I have on the screen right now, is uh, is a podcast where um, where uh, it's what's called an actual play podcast, where someone sits down and plays, um, where a group of people sit down and play like a role playing game, and they record it, and then that's uh, uh, then that's what the podcast is. Um, so, so you need to, uh, b- again, before you ever sit down in front of a microphone, you need to give some thought to what your format is going to be. You know, is it, you know, um, uh, you need to have some idea, and I would even suggest, not that you want to copy other podcasts, but you would need to go, but what you need to do is you need to listen to podcasts and say, okay, um, uh, the Joe Rogan, uh, the Joe Rogan podcast. You made it weird with, uh, 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 with Pete, and um, you know, and and uh, WTF with Mark Marin. Um, uh, you know, if you're a big fan of those, if you're a fan of those um, that style, then then you need you know then then you can go with that like like. Um, it's just something that you need to have sorted before you ever uh, sit down and record because because uh, along with other things it will um, depending on which one you choose you're going to rely on other people whether that's the interviewee and the interviewee changes every time or like if you're going to do a panel podcast um, you need other people to be on the panel um, and so like and so like it it takes some planning to do that kind of thing um, so now. Uh, so once you've once you've done that, 
and and again, I, I'm going to try to say this multiple times through the um, through this, but uh, you can find a Google Docs link to the the to the uh, worksheet that I'm kind of walking you through in the description of this video. Uh, you can click on it and download it. Um, and so we're kind of just going through each of those sections so that by the time you, if you were to fill out the worksheet, you would have uh, the plan in place for a podcast. Um, and so, uh, you know, part, part, part four, you know, once you've figured out your, your, um, once you figured out your topic, your niche, your format, you need to figure out your tone. Are you going to be very serious? Are you going to be serial? Are you investigating something that you, and you know, and it's a serious crime that you need to, that you need to uh, look into? Are you going to be humorous? Are you and some other people going to sit around making jokes about the news or, or, or making jokes about, you know, um, uh, your favorite movies or something, or are you going to be flexible? Like one of my favorite podcasts is a podcast called criminal criminal is a podcast where, um, uh, uh, the, the two hosts every week, um, bring, or every, I guess every, every fortnight, they, they have a topic of an interesting true crime story. So it's not, it's not always just blood and guts. It's usually like some weird twist. Um, like, like the one that came out, two weeks ago was about uh kids solving crimes like really like real life kids um solving crimes um but you know sometimes they do very serious episodes and so and so it can be like sweet and lighthearted, or it can be serious you know you just need to know you need to know what tone you're setting uh bef um as you before you get started and you need to know whether even if that tone is meant to be flexible you need to to find that middle ground to start with so that you can, you know, it's like a, it's like a, um, it's like a wave, right? You need to be, if, if you're going to be flexible, then you need to start out at a tone where you're either, where you can dip down into the serious or you can rise up to the humorous. Um, you need to kind of start with that middle, even keel, because if you start in your first episode and you're like, yeah, 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 you know, morning zoo crew, uh, type of stuff and then in the next episode you're like no we're gonna get serious like like unless I don't know maybe somebody could pull that off but I think it would be really hard um, for most people so once you find your tone you need to find your voice um, which I know probably sounds similar and maybe I'm even using the wrong term here but like like um, what kind of podcast are you you know or not what kind of podcast um do you want it to, uh, who do you want to be involved? Is it just you? Are you going to sit there solo talking to the microphone about something? Um, you know, and there are podcasts like that. You'd, you'd think that those would be boring, but they're, they're not. There are several podcasts out there that, that from 15 minutes to more than two hours are just one person talking to the, to the microphone. And, and that, and if you have enough charisma, you can pull that off. I do not. And that's why you're probably, bored of this already after 17 minutes but 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 hopefully you're sticking it out with me <coughs> excuse me there's my cold again um uh you know are you do you want it to be solo do you want it to be you and one other person be like you and an interviewer interviewee uh do you want it to be you telling a story do you want it to be solo do you want it to be a duet is it you know is it you and another person having a conversation or 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 interviewing someone um you know and then of course it, it can be way more than that i i personally think that four, four voices five voices is probably the most um that you can have without it starting to get a little bit chaotic um you really the more people you add the the more you really have to be careful not to talk over each other um and uh you know um especially if you're not famous going into the podcast um you need to learn how to like find ways to distinguish between you and your co-hosts if you you know if you have multiple voices going on um but it's totally possible it's totally pl plausible to have you know more than more than two um people uh, there are a lot of podcasts like that um then you need to find your length um there are podcasts from every every length um there are there are uh you know there are there there are super short podcasts that come out you know uh that, that that come out in under 20 minutes there are podcasts uh that that are like 
30 to two hours and then there are podcasts that are way longer um on this i have kind of a joke saying that you know anything over two hours is dan carlin uh, dan carlin is the the podcast host of hardcore history he's one of those guys that literally just talks into a microphone just him for like two to three hours and and it's it's riveting uh, or it can be riveting um but you know you need to you need to understand your length you also need to understand that like the length that you set in your head um it's kind of like it's kind of like a deadline right like you don't want a bunch of fluff at the end just because uh because you said it was going to be a two-hour podcast you only had an hour's worth of of content um you need to you need to be vicious uh when you're thinking through the 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 um uh, the outline of what you're going to talk about, whether that's scripted or whether it's it's uh, ad libbed, whether it's you know um, off the cuff as you and another person are talking, whether it's you in the editing um, in the editing room, if if you the person that is involved is bored, uh, then it is likely that any listeners are going to be bored. So the higher the energy you have, the the more the more engaged listeners are going to be so if you if if your high energy if you can sustain high energy and charisma for 15 to 30 minutes then that's what your podcast needs to be um if you're you know if you can do longer than that great um but uh i am of the belief i mean i listen to a couple of pretty long podcasts but i'm of the belief that an hour is close to the most that you should do um but there obviously there are a lot of people out there that listen to much longer podcasts than that um i just think that an hour is kind of the perfect cutting off point personally and and it may take some trial and error to figure out what you can sustain and what your listeners will listen to um we'll talk about finding your flexibility here in a little while in a few slides um once you've figured all that stuff out, and in fact, I'm just going to real quick do a recap. Find your topic. Find your niche within the competition for that topic. Find your format. <coughs> Excuse me. Find your tone. Find your voice. Find your length. And then find your schedule. Now, there are schedules. There are podcast schedules for every time interval. Um, there are daily podcasts all the way up to yearly podcasts and everything in between, including intermittent podcasting, where like um, a podcast will just come out whenever uh, the podcasters want to do one. Um, now, my advice to you is that if you're starting a podcast and you are not already famous, and you may be, I don't know who's in this class, but if you're not already famous, you need to find a regular schedule, even if it's, <coughs> excuse me, you need to find a regular schedule, even if it's a lot of time in between podcasts, so that as you're, as you're recording, you can say, okay, join us, you know, towards the end, you can say, join us next month, join us uh, in two weeks whatever the whatever the interval is so that they know when you're coming back so that you can gain a consistent audience um i i think the shorter the interval the better personally but i know that not everybody's schedule works that way um so you know uh uh i think i think weekly is kind of the perfect um interval um but not everybody's schedule can work work like that um, but regardless of what your interval is, you need to be clear about it with your audience so that they will, so that they will, uh, be on the lookout for your next episode. And so that after a few times they can be like, okay, well, I am looking forward to this, this podcast that comes out every fortnight. Right. And, uh, I'm looking forward to this coming Friday because there wasn't a podcast last Friday. Like, like think about your favorite TV shows, right? Your your favorite TV shows during the season when they air, they come out at the same time, the same day, every every week, and and you need to kind of think that same way. Um, 
uh, think about your favorite TV show that got canceled. It is, you know, some of the most famous, like, canceled TV shows, like Firefly or, like, um, uh, I feel like Cartoon Network does this to their shows a lot, where they mess with their schedules, they air things out of order, and people don't know when to see them, and it's just because they don't actually care whether, it's because the, the, the network doesn't actually care whether they are popular because they're can- going to cancel them anyways. That's kind of a side, but what I'm saying is the, the consistency will help you build an audience. Um, once you've decided on all of that, you need to think about your name. Um, do you want your name to be uh, funny? Do you want it to be clever? Do you want it to be practical? Um, you know, is it is it something where you want to be like, okay, we are, you know, um, we're going to talk about database management in this podcast so we're the database management podcast or do you want it to be something you know punny p p u n n y or do you want it to be something um you know uh uh that lets people know what the tone of the podcast is going to be so like so like um you, you have to, you know, it kind of goes back to that question of tone, right, that we talked about earlier. If you're going to be funny, if you're going to be clever, if, if you're going to be serious, the, the name kind of needs to reflect that. Um, I personally am not a fan of the dry podcast names, right? So, like, even if you're going to be serious, I don't think I want to, I personally wouldn't want to listen to, like, um, I'm not a big true crime podcast fan, but, like, but, like, you know, if if you were going to do a, a true crime podcast and it was going to be super serious, I would much rather like a clever name, personally, than like something super dry that was just like, um, uh, I don't know, like in. Trey investigates something, you know, like. Um, although actually that's not a terrible, I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that like, that like I prefer the clever ones personally. Uh, if I'm looking for a new podcast to listen to, um, okay, here's a perfect example. Sorry. So like, so like I'm, I'm a big fan of some history podcasts, right? But I, but the one, the, the name that I hate or that I personally dislike the most, and there's no shade on the actual podcast because it's good or the podcast network, because this is the network, it's kind of the network shtick, but like, like stuff you missed in history class is just so dry to me. Like that name is just so dry to me. Um, but I recognize that that's part of the their uh the network that they're on shtick is that it's all stuff right stuff you need to know stuff you know and I, i'm just I, i'm I, i'm saying things i probably shouldn't say anyways i just prefer clever over dry personally once you've come up with a name though uh you need to uh check around first you google it check out apple podcasts check other podcasters see if you can uh if you find someone with that name um when when i was at the hermitage we did a podcast uh called uh, that eventually became potus uh potus seven podcast but uh our original i thought for the name was uh, the kitchen cabinet because um andrew jackson was kind of the 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 first person the first president to have that kitchen cabinet within his cabinet um that was like his closest advisors but there was already a bbc um radio podcast uh that was called the kitchen cabinet and so we couldn't go with it um and 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 we had gotten pretty deep into like creating imagery creating merchandise for the kitchen cabinet podcast before we found out that like it wasn't that wasn't available to us so as you think of names, you need to Google them immediately and don't become enamored with them until you've made sure that no one else is using them. Uh, the final the final uh, piece of today's um, podcasting class is, um, you know, if you're enjoying yourself, but it isn't working. And what I mean by that is, like, uh, you're not getting the listens that you'd like um, or, like, your... Um, you listen to it as you're editing it and it feels like you're not, you know, it's just, you know, it just isn't working. Um, like it's not coming together the way you would like. 
be feel feel you know feel secure in the in your ability to shake things up you know um just because you've become an enamored with a certain way of doing things doesn't mean that like uh going back to the drawing board could uh, would hurt take su- take suggestions um ask other other people to listen to it and take their criticism and take it seriously i know it's something that if you've poured your heart into it can be hard to take uh criticism but if someone is if believe me if if someone in your life is willing to listen to your podcast um and give you constructive criticism about it you should take it because um uh th- that is someone that cares about you because uh because most most people uh do not listen to the podcasts of uh people that are in their lives <laughs> um uh so uh so be willing to take their criticism um but that that is everything that we were going to talk about today um remember that uh next month in fact i can tell you the exact date next month at on october 30th we will be doing part two which is about production um i'll show you some of the things that the library can help you do um like our recording studio and stuff like that um and some uh uh some free programs that you can use and then uh a month from then sometime in november i'm not exactly sure of the date we will um we'll do distribution we will talk about how to get your podcasts on uh, apple podcasts and other stuff like that so i i hope you have a good day i hope you're all staying healthy and well and uh i'll see you next time